Cuts it. It's made the difference. Yeah. He's made the difference. Hello, it's Ryan Patton from Liverpool Echo. We are out and about in Liverpool City Centre, chatting to you about what Jürgen Klopp means to them. Oh, I mean, he's, he's incredible, isn't he? Special. <laughs> like, it's just... I mean, he's the best of us all, isn't he? Yeah. Do you know, when... Like, the, the emotional roller coaster that he brings, the humanity, the sincerity, he, he's just superb. You know, he's just... Um, yeah, he's the best of all of us, and I think he just epitomises what we want from, from a football manager, what we want from a football club. Um, and yeah, the connection that he's got with the supporters and the city as a whole, you know, it's it's amazing. It's a bit hard to point to words, isn't it? In terms of like what he's done for Liverpool, put us back on the map throughout Europe. We would do, you know, we've always been on the map, but he's just he's just made that imprint there again. It's like it's just born the club, rebuilt the club yeah. again. When it was at that time of it just kind of we're just going through the doldrums and he just lifted it he's the reason why i got a bit more interested in football and uh, he means a lot to the city of liverpool i think first and foremost but he's a man who wears his emotions on his sleeves and he's not scared to repeat what he feels out loud <laughs> make other people feel that they should be thinking again very very sad what? very emotional <laughs> what does Jürgen Klopp mean to you the whole world just love him so much He's been great for Liverpool, he's been great for football, he's been great for the city. Spot on, you can't knock him. You know, like, he, he is true supporter of football, and that's all we want, isn't he? We're all about football in this city. I'm music. <laughs> I was a football fan, um, but he's made me more into a football fan, mm -hmm. because I just love him to bits. I'd love, I'd love just to hug him. <laughs> I think he's ace. <laughs> Those first words he said, I am the normal one. <laughs> Do you know, it just connected right away. Um, imagine we had a manager nine years ago who sat in our first press conference and said, I am the special one. <laughs> it, just wouldn't, it just wouldn't connect with yeah. us. I'm just concerned about Liverpool and where they're going after he's gone. Yeah. And, you know, everybody was moaning and groaning, Everton possibly being relegated and all that. And we don't want to lose that. And we don't want Liverpool to start decaying and going in the same position. We always want Liverpool and Everton derbies, don't we? Yeah. He just, he just gets the people, he gets the club from the very beginning, from day one. It was just like... He, well, he, you know, he's been... The way, the way he links the fans, the players, it's the unity. Klopp is unity. Yeah. I think really, ultimately, he's genuine. And I think people in Liverpool flock to others who are genuine because that's the nature of a true Scouser. Not that I'm one. I'm an adopted Scouser, but I think I'm genuine too. Do you think Jürgen's an adopted Scouser too, like yourself? Absolutely. As long as I've got something in common with him, I'll be happy. Sad days leave. He's brilliant. Legendary legend. So, he brought us all brilliant football and brilliant times. Made us all believe again. For me, the best examples of fan culture and supporter culture is when the manager and, and supporters go hand in hand yeah. and, and they are on the exact same page. He's just totally enigmatic, you know, like when he's standing on that touchline, you know, I think what comes out of him just reverberates to the terraces and then hopefully we feed it back to him and it's just this, this, this like cycle <laughs> back and forth and, and that's like a very, very special bond yeah. and it's just what he's done for the support of culture and it, it, it's just incredible. He feels like he was born here yeah. and he's lived here forever and ever. He just, yeah. honestly, he's just connected, not just with the fans, with everybody. And I think that's part of why we love him. Yeah. And it's been an incredible nine years. Uh, yeah. Have you got a favourite standout moment from that time? Yeah, the Barcelona game. <laughs> <laughs> we I couldn't laughing? believe it. <laughs> I stood there at the end, my, my son stands by me in the match, and we just said, what has just happened? Yeah. Just couldn't believe it. I just think it, he gets us. Yeah. He, he definitely does get us. I mean, I, I was there for the European Cup parade, and he was just loving it, do you know what I mean? And uh, he's connected with the fans in, in a way that some managers haven't. I think, what well, he can't say he gets us, but also working on just a budget and turning what we thought was average players into world beaters. Yeah, yeah. And he's brought the young ones through and to the academy and you know, made us just into a great side all around. And everyone's involved. What makes us think that we're involved, you know, and feel a part of the club. I, I really enjoyed the World Club Championship. <laughs> As reflected on this last night with some people, that there was a moment 
it's about 3 a.m. in Doha after we'd lifted that trophy for the first time. <laughs> and and the song just started, we're champions of the world, we're champions <laughs> of the world. And I, I think I'll take that to the grave, <laughs> that moment. And, and the fact that Jürgen obviously gave it to us, uh, it's, yeah, it's just so special. I just love all of his talks with the... Um, with like the, um, the press, the press and that, it just, just makes me laugh. It's just like, he just beams from here to here. Uh-huh. <laughs> that journey we've been on, that roller coaster of the last nine years, you know, the highs, the lows, all the memories we've got, the trophies that we've got, um, like it will go on forever. What's your favourite moment from Klopp's time at Liverpool? I'm guessing it might have been a certain, a certain game with Goodison Park last month. Yeah, I'm just having a look for a mug now where we've got Calvin Loon just popping up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to probably cry all the time. <laughs> Honestly, I've been a bit emotional the last few weeks because we know it's coming to an end, don't we? Yeah. So, But he's given us all to the club, hasn't he? And he looks like he needs a rest now. Yeah. It does, so... Um, just wish him well, whatever he does next. Yeah. As the bunny men once sang, nothing ever lasts forever. <laughs> and and I think you know we, we we've all just got to remember that and and think think of the good times and you know I'm confident I'm sure he he will be back. He's gonna he's gonna do a Shankly esque move, isn't he? Just appear <laughs> on the cop one day and uh, and we'll welcome him with open arms. So it's sad, but yeah, as I said before, we've got the memories and we've got the trophies.